used to watch this perfect couple. They were the embodiment of true love. I want to start my life over again. I saw her. I saw her from the train. She was, she was with this man. Just for a second. Is this her? To a woman so heartless. Can you tell me where you were Friday night? I was in the city, and then I went to visit my husband. You mean your ex-husband? It's my understanding that the woman who has gone missing was his nanny. Hey, Tom. Hey, Megan. Rachel, why are you here? Because I'm helping find Megan. I don't think you're helping anybody. I saw your wife with someone. Megan has a therapist. Is that who you saw? happened that night in the tunnel. Tell me the truth. I read once that when a train hits, it can rip the clothes right off of you. How could you be so You were seen in the area that night. How could you be so Did you murder Megan Hipwell? No. Tell me what happened that night. How could you be so Why are you here? Because I'm afraid of myself. I lie to Scott. I lie to you. I know that's not the point of therapy, but I have to keep things vague. Jumble up all the men, the exes, the lovers. It doesn't matter who they are. It matters how they make me feel. <laughs> Lying is like taking a trip. It's like having a secret that no one else knows. I really wanted a baby. We tried everything and nothing worked. And it just absolutely... just broke my... my heart and... So it got really sad, and then, um, and then the, the booze just, uh, broke us. Why are you really here, Rachel? Because I'm afraid of myself. I saw someone with Megan Hipwell, but, uh, not on Friday night. She... She was having an affair. She had a lover. That's that's what I'm trying to tell you. I thought you. you didn't know her. No, but I but I saw her. You saw her where? I, I saw her from the train. She was standing on on the deck with this with man. Her husband, Scott Hipwell. No, it wasn't him. This man was different, and they, they were they were kissing. Wow, that's pretty coincidental, isn't it? You just happened to be on a train at the same exact moment that a woman you don't know but somehow recognize is cheating on her husband. I know it sounds crazy. Neighbor um, saw a drunk woman in the vicinity of her house Friday night. Megan Hipwell does bear a resemblance to Anna Watson. Mrs. Watson reported that you go to their house sometimes uninvited and that on one occasion you actually broke in and took their child. Admit that you never even met my wife. The detective said you didn't even know Megan. She used other words, too. Alcoholic. 
Maybe even mentally unstable. I am sorry. I was honestly just trying to help you. <laughs> You're Tom's crazy ex. Were you going to tell me that, huh? And now the detective is asking if you and I are in a relationship? You? I would never even get near someone like you. My wife is dead. And you're lying to me. What's wrong with you? Your, your, your wife hit me on Friday night. No. What are you talking about? Yes, 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 you did. Yes, you did. And then she, and then she, 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 she got in your car. No. She said you yelled at her. That no, night. that is not what happened. She was, she was in the tunnel and she, she hit me. I don't want to argue in the street. In the middle of the day and you're drunk. Look, I'm not drunk, Tom. My wife is scared of you. Of what? I don't even know if that's a joke or not. Let's start with child abduction. That's not how it happened. You and I both know what you're capable of. I'm here because I... because I... because I woke up um, covered in blood. And I had, I had bruises all over my arm and... Um, it's usually from when I've fallen and someone's helped me up. My husband, he used to tell me what I'd done the night before. And I learned when you wake up like that, you just say you're sorry. You just say you're sorry for what you did and you're sorry for who you are. And you're never gonna do it again, but you do, you do it again.